Welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to the channel today, guys. Do I have to say one of the most important videos that I've made in recent times? Because in today's video, we are going to be addressing Barca's medical situation, our injury crisis, and not only focusing on this season, but focusing today on the fundamental problems, the root of the problem that's been plaguing our club now for several seasons. Chavi is arriving and he will know what needs to change. It is all discussed today. So let's do it. Because just to set the scene, as we saw against Celta Vigo on Saturday, Ansu Fati, Eric Garcia and Nico Gonzalez were all injured during that game. They were all added to Barca's growing injury list. And of course, you saw what it did. A brilliant first half performance. Barca in the second half there capitulated. It was disorganized, disrupted, distracted. And quite clearly, injuries in this manner, they hurt you in the short term, they hurt you in the medium term, and they hurt you in the long term. And to make matters worse, it means now this season, 15 Barca players have suffered injuries. Between those 15, they've actually suffered 20 injuries in total. 14 of those have been muscular problems. Jordi Alba has got injured. Aguero, Ansu Fati, Ronald Araujo, Alejandro Balde, Martin Braithwaite, Franco de Jong, Guzman Dembele, Serginho Dest, Eric Garcia, Oscar Mingueza, Nico Gonzalez, Pedri, Pique, Sergio Roberto, the list goes on. And this can't continue because it doesn't matter who you've got as coach. It doesn't matter how well you're going to coach if you don't have any players available to you. If you can't ever field your best team, there's no chance. You have no chance. And that is why Xavi will be looking to bring some change. Because the first thing, of course, that you do look at is the medical staff. We've spoken about this in a lot of detail over the past few days, especially there over on More Talk FCB, when we spoke, of course, about one of Chavi's first requests upon joining the club. He would love to see Dr. Ricard Pruner back at Barcelona. They're the widely known figure within the club and one of the most recognized sports medicine specialists in the world who worked at the club for nearly 25 years. Chavi wants him back and he wants an overhaul of the medical staff at the club. What I also have to note as well is that Xavi is going to bring people with him already as Xavi is bringing his own physio as part of his backroom staff and it has been reported this morning that Mattia Almani, of course, who's in charge of the full sporting area at Barca, he's already spoken with Xavi about the medical services and both of them have agreed that we need change and urgent steps need to be taken. However, guys, as much as I am angry, frustrated, honestly quite done with the medical staff at Barcelona, there's no doubt at all that things do need an overhaul in that area. You can't question that. But what I think is also really important right now is that we cannot fail to ignore our training. The training at this club, the physical preparation there of these players it's nowhere near good enough. And I mean nowhere near, not even close. We've said this many, many times before. If you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that's what we've seen over the past few seasons. I don't think we've trained well as a team. I don't think we've prepared in the right way since way back to Luis Enrique's time. That was the last Barcelona team that I saw physically ready to compete at any level against any team. Even if they weren't good enough at times, they were still there physically. Since then, it's been a car crash. It has been an absolute disaster. You look there at the drop-off in training and preparation. It started under Ernesto Valverde. You can't get away from that. Things started to go downhill. The standards started to drop. And from coach to coach, nothing has changed. Right up until Ronald Koeman, it was exactly the same problem. And it's been a major issue at this club that almost has just been allowed to happen. Because you think about Barca training sessions the way they've been over the past few seasons. You watch Barca, even in pre-season training, it looks like one big warm-up exercise. It looks like something you do before the actual session. There is such a lack of intensity that it is absolutely unbelievable. And that causes problems. That will cause you to have muscle issues. There's no getting around that. Because you imagine it right now, you're training throughout the week. You know, you do more training, of course, than you do playing actual matches. So so what you have to do in that training is prepare yourself for those matches. You know that on match day, there's going to be a lot of adrenaline, there's going to be a lot of focus, there's going to be a lot of hard running, and of course there's going to be more intensity in the play, 
But that is the whole point of training, to prepare you to go into that match and make sure that you already have that level within you. Because if you train all week long there with no intensity, if you're strolling around the training pitch there, going through the motions, doing what we do, which is basically there, turning up for sorry, 45 minutes, doing a few rondos, then going home, and then just getting ready for the game at the weekend, you arrive at that game... And suddenly, it's a culture shock. It's a shock to the system there. When you go out on the field, and suddenly then, everything's 100 miles an hour. You've got to keep up there with your opponents, especially in big games against teams who have prepared, and we can't deal with it. That is why we're seeing players go into games and suddenly, they're pulling up injured. They're not right. They're not ready to compete in that environment. Why? Because they haven't prepared to be. We haven't given them the preparation. We haven't made sure they're where they need to be going into those games. And that is why these injuries, they will keep happening whilst the preparation is set up in this way. And it's not even a secret. I want to go back, first of all, to a report there back in 2020. It was a report that came out from French outlet Le Keep, who actually wanted to look further in to Ousmane Dembele's physical problems at Barca because they couldn't understand why it was happening. They couldn't understand why he'd been so plagued throughout his time at Barca because at Rennes and Borussia Dortmund, he had no problems. He was physically perfect at those clubs, but at Barca, he is constantly on the sidelines. And the data they found showed that the percentage of Dembele's runs that are sprints in a match is between 80 to 90%. Because let's not forget, that's Dembele's whole game. It's those high-intensity sprints, often over quite a short distance. That is why Dembele is such a unique player, because the pace that he has, the physical attributes that he has, it allows him there to go from a standstill to lightning fast over a very, very short distance and a very, very short time. For that reason, defences can't live with him. That's what his game is prized upon. So 80 to 90% of the time in a game, Dembele is sprinting of some sort. Now, what I keep found there back in 2020, that in training, the amount of time that Dembele was sprinting, 20%. So every day in training, you're sprinting there for only 20% of the time. That's the lack of intensity we're talking about. There's no invitation there to sprint because you don't need to. The training is not at that level. So when you go into a game, his body's not used to it. His body can't cope with that amount of sprints, given that he's not been doing it all week long. And this is exactly what I mean. Because former players have confirmed it too. They've left the club, they've gone away, they joined their new club, and suddenly... It's a cultural shock. Malcolm joined Zenit there in 2019 after spending time, of course, under Ernesto Valverde. He said, here at Zenit, we now do double sessions. We train for longer. He said, at Barca, though, we only train for perhaps 40, 50 minutes. He said, perhaps... That was why I was injured. Started laughing there, but who knows? You look at Conrad De La Fuente. Just a few weeks ago there, joined Marseille in the summer. He openly came out and said, I noticed a big difference in the training once I got here. He said, compared with Barca, especially during the pre-season training, he said, I was freaking out. I was not used to this kind of level. And that's Marseille. And that's Zenit there. We're not talking about clubs here who are at the very, very top doing things that other clubs simply can't do. This is your basic standard here. That Barca are simply nowhere near. Even Sergio Aguero, he arrived in the summer, now our own player, but he still spoke out about it. After joining from Man City, he said at City, we often arrived about an hour or an hour and a half before training even started, you know, to work on some things. He said, but here, you only get the training half an hour before. And so Aguero said to himself, well, you know, I'll come in, I'll try to get here an hour before, maybe I'll go to the gym, try and do some things on my own then. But he said, I got here, nobody was there. Everything was shut. And even Aguero, after all the experience he's had in his career, couldn't quite believe what he was seeing at Barca. And this, this is the problem, guys. Yes, we can talk about the medical services. Like I said, they do need an overhaul. And there are many other problems that Barca may have on and off the pitch. But it starts with the training. It starts with the preparation. Chavi, of course it's his job there to get results on the pitch, to improve performance on the pitch on match day. But I'm convinced the work, the progress that we need to see, it's right there on the training ground. I think these players at Barca right now, they are going to be in for a big cultural change, a shock to the system. And that's what they need. That is what every single player at this club needs. We don't train. We do not prepare like an elite club. And if we want to perform on that kind of level, act like one then. You train like one. You prepare like one. 
And I will go as far to say that if players now, when this cultural change comes in, when Xavi, I'm sure that he is, going to really address those training ground standards. If you can't handle it, if it's not quite something there that you can deal with as a player, then honestly, you shouldn't be here anyway. And I do believe that Xavi, with all of that experience, let's not forget he's trained under some of the best coaches. He's trained under Pep Guardiola. He's trained under Luis Enrique. He's even played alongside those players as well in training. He has seen all the drills. He's seen all the understanding of how the very, very best prepare. He's got to bring that to Barca. And it will be a big change. And it needs to be a big change. Because what we've been doing up until this point, it is simply not Barca standards, and Xavi Hernandez has to bring those standards back where they belong. So please, guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Like I say, I do feel as though this is a big, big video today because actually, we've all been thinking about this. We've all been feeling it for a long, long time now. We've all known about that lack of preparation. We've all known about the problems that can certainly come from that. We have to see change now, especially with this ongoing injury crisis, which isn't going to improve unless we really start to shake things up. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys. There's plenty more coming, because on Monday, Xavi will be presented as the new Barca coach. I will see you there, of course, across both channels to keep right up to date. Thank you for your support, and of course, I'll see you soon. But until next time, as always, Vizca, El Barca. Uh -huh.